Good Chaydesh and a good morning and a good week. Starting off the day with such an incredible, incredible weather, at least here in Muncie. Something to be so thankful for. And we're starting off the week of Pasha's Chukas. And there's a beautiful Chazal that I mentioned in Shalashidis on Shabbos. It's quite known, it's a Gemara in Maseches Ksuvas. The Gemara in Maseches Brachas, Dav Samech Gimel. The Gemara says, based on the Pasuk in this week's Pasha, that says, Adam Kiyomus Be'oyha, a man will die in a tent. So the Gemara tells us the following, Ein HaToyre Miskayemis, the Torah will not be everlasting. Ela Bemisha Memis Atzmo only someone that literally kills himself on the Torah will it be everlasting. And of course, the words are quite, quite drastic. What does that mean? The Torah is only going to be fulfilled and lasting if it's going to be a person that is going to kill himself for it. And there's different ways of interpreting this Chazal. I want to bring out something that I think certainly, as I always point out, Sunday is a time to really grab as a day of learning. Of course, to enjoy some time with the family. But the Iker is to as much as possible. The Sydney Shira, Vigdom Mozikhan Vacha. I just saw a letter that one of the responses that he once gave to someone who was discussing um, Sunday, had her spend Sunday. So Vigdom Mozikhan Vacha said that a balabas could be in Kolo, someone that's working a week. His Kolo is once a week. Once a week, Sunday, he gets up early, he takes breakfast and lunch, and sits in, in yeshiva or in shul all day. Now, of course, I think it should be balanced with the family and helping out and especially with, with the weather like this to take a little bit of time to appreciate it and the beautiful hikes and everything else that we have. But the concept is that the, the main purpose in this world is to be connected to Torah. That's the one thing, the most spiritual gift that was given to us. That's certainly the message of this Chazal. When Chazal say that the Torah is not Miskayim, it's speaking about the, the idea that really there is nothing else that is true meaning other than Torah. But it's deeper than that. It means that real life, to be really alive, is to have Torah. And to be connected to the learning of Torah. And to be connected to the transformation that Torah gives us. Because even those that do study, many times, as we saw from this past week's parasha, Korach, he could be the biggest tzaddik, he could be the biggest genius, the Yismach Moshe, and the Torah's Moshe of Chasm Sefer write, that it's known that Korach and Dosan and Aviram were equal to Moshe and Aaron. Can you imagine? They were equal in their righteousness, and maybe perhaps even in somewhat in their learning. But clearly... It was the down, the downfall of Korach was Einav Hitatoi, the eyes that we have to fix, the haughtiness, the lack of humility. Humility is the key to success in everything and especially in Torah. So, getting back to these words of Chazal, one interpretation is exactly what we're saying, and that is to appreciate that without Torah, we really are dead. We're walking dead men. Dead men. It's like someone is walking in his sleep. The reason why there's a concept, one of my children actually has, is quite, will, will, when he walks in his sleep, it's absolutely, it's fascinating and quite frightening to something. Sometimes you'll ask, I have no idea how I got to a spot in the house where he fell asleep. And it's a lesson. Everything in the physical world is a lesson. Sleepwalking is that there are people, all of us, we are all many times in life sleepwalking. And that's when we're not connected to the Torah. But there's another interpretation that I want to share with everyone. It's one of my favorite. It's actually very much vividly depicted by Rav Shvedron, the Magid, many years ago, when he was trying to explain these words of Chazal, and he was trying to, to show what it means that a person is only really going to be alive when he's learning Torah. It means the following. The Chavetz Chaim said this concept, a similar concept to it. He said, when a person is learning, so let's say you designate one hour of learning a day, that means that at that, that time, that hour, you are dead. What does it mean you're dead? Not that your learning is dead, not that you're half asleep. What it means is that the entire world doesn't exist. Phones, it's not even a question, they're off. Not even vibrate. They're totally off. And 
Rav Shadlon would bring it in the following. There was once a guy. He was a, quite a wealthy person, was making a successful business. Anyway, he got inspired to start learning more and dedicating time to learning. So he decided from now on, from 10 to 12 every day, he goes to the base midrash, goes to study. And then at 12 o'clock, he shows up. Anyway, eventually, what happened was his wife came to visit to find out what's going on, and she knows he's not there from 10 to 12. Eventually, she asked her husband what's going on. So the husband told her, you know, I found out how incredible and special and how the most important thing is learning. So from 10 to 12, I go, and, she's, and she said, what? And she said, look, it's hustling and busting people waiting outside and so much money to make. So the husband told her very simply, he said, look, 10 to 12, at 10 o'clock, what happens is I die. Thank God at 12 o'clock, Hashem brings me back. If God forbid you'd get a phone call that said your husband's in the hospital, and unfortunately he just passed away. Of course you wouldn't scream at me, you wouldn't tell me anything. You would you'd say, Oy vey, and you'd be, you'd be, you'd bro you'd broken hearted. And then if at 12 o'clock suddenly you get a phone call and say, thank God we're able to revive him, <laughs> you'd celebrate. So the husband said to his wife, this is what happens to me every day. From 10 to 12, I'm dead. Now, I don't mean that this is, you know, if a husband, of course, if a wife needs a husband and she's about to give birth, you make a plan. But it's so much, it's not about the wife. The wife would love it if the husband would really dedicate because those two hours are not the husbands, they're the husbands and the wives. It's a shutfus, it's a partnership. And that incredible investment is an eternal investment. And it happens when a person understands these words of Chazal. The Torah, when we learn, the entire world doesn't exist. And don't worry, some people think if you don't have the phone on, and I have this problem too, we think that, uh, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? This person's going to text me, that person's going to text me, what's going to be, and the world's going to fall apart without us. No, God can run the world without us. And for those two hours, we're not in this world. And it's beautiful. We have Tchir Samisim every single day. Have a wonderful day.